Hands up. Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Katalo await you within. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And Ether. Outlander, the Chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. This must lead to the arena. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. Rigola can try all she likes. Oh, this could be useful. Save the cool room. There will be blood. Show some respect, Outlander. If they can't face these machines, they're not worthy to be marshals. I could be a marshal. I've just got other things to do. Outlander who saved the cool one. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Katalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool root where they fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the Ten. I'll see you when this is done. We 
all have our work. We celebrate skill and the cool route is... This will be a heavy day. The challengers... You're watching his... You have ceremony. We held off for Gala once. We'll, need a... we'll do it again. Mr. Kote, this thugs, of course. May honor come. Chief's champion. What an honor. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Karo's defenders should be at the end of the stretch. But we must hold. And look. We are not alone in this fight. Focus on the machines. Take them down. And Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. Or from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks. But you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us. Our struggle. Demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! All who take down a machine shall be named Marshal. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory.
that. I don't know.
Gala went after Hikaru and Katawa. I gotta get to them. This will be my stash when I need it. Isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Gala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten.
There. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now I get this back to Gaia. And this one just arrived. Aloy, here. Let's talk. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. Can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? 
Should be interesting. I hear you got All right. I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. We won't let Regala take if the If Regala world. wants a fight, she'll get one here. Regala's coming for Hikaru. I heard from our scouts in the Rebels were Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the Chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Cabo. He was not counted among the dead. Which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Cavo is the last of my blood. What made Cavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. And as for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. So if Cabo didn't listen to you when he joined the Rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cabo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. You said Cabo's your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Kavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy, and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true.
soldiers made it out okay. Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. Just tell it to her straight, Dekka. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaro won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the Grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing, if you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. I don't have anything to pay you with here. Bring them to me at the Maw of the Arena when you can. Thank you, Champion. And please don't forget the parts for the Ballista. I need to head southeast to find out where we're back. And I think I saw a herd of bristlebacks not far from here.
I'll take that. That's all the tusks I need. Now I just have to find that roller back Kala mentioned. Get the part she needs to fix the ballista at the arena. Aloy, the outpost is just over there. Are you ready? The rebels aren't going to give up without a fight. Then we'll have to give them one. The bloodshed won't end until Regala is defeated. What matters is their prisoner Nakala. Maybe she knows where Kavo's squad went. Okay, let's head in then. Careful not to let this stay in my hands. That's a rebel outpost. I'll have to find whoever's in charge and take them out.
That's all of them. Our scouts said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. I'll rest here until you return. Packs from dead soldiers. Definitely want these. Come, Aloy. Back to the task at hand. There. That's the post. Oh, no, Nikala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. find Nicola's tracks with my focus. There. Tracks leading away from the post. Where do they go? or Nicola. There's rope. Just enough to bind someone. I'll wait here. Her rope's uncut. Did Nicola escape?
Planks of wood. To cover something? Dead end. No. I think there's something under that wood. Take my hand, Nicola. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplain? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? <sighs> Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. <sighs> How'd you end up here? We're looking for Cavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. Cavo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cavo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet! We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. I can grab this from my stash later.
Thank you. 